What have you learned today? There is there is one thing that I really enjoyed that Julian Hardy's presentation was uh, the statistics about how much money app developers make from the app store. So basically, most of the apps are sold for 99 cents. 30 percent of that goes to the app store, so you get basically 70 cents per app. And out of all the apps that are sold, only five percent of them have more than 1,000 downloads, which means basically app developers make around $700 from the App Store. And there are other revenue types that they're using, like uh, in-app purchase or uh, ads, or uh, I was talking to Ru and she was telling me that in Finland nowadays you can buy uh, coffee branded Angry Birds, so you can do all the other marketing stuff that you can, or franchise, like you said, uh, to um, to make money, but you're not going to make money directly from the App Store. So this, I think, has a big impact on how much money you spend in developing and testing also. So maybe this is why most, or not most, but lots of the applications that get to be in the App Store are quite crappy from a quality point of view. Okay, so it's quite fascinating that we call ourselves context-driven testers and uh, we face difficulty, how will we communicate that? So, one of the biggest learning uh, that I've had so far is how do I better communicate uh, what context driven testing is and identify different kinds of members in other communities and their roles in, in the whole ecosystem of uh, testers. Now, while I say this, learning has two dimensions. One is what you immediately think you learned and the other is what you are going to be recollecting every now and then and claiming that you've learned from this experience. So I think there's plenty of things for me to be thinking on the plane and considering that I have a long journey, I love it. Thank you. What have I learned today? Well, three out of the four sessions I was a facilitator. One of them was a kind of an improvised facilitation because the facilitator didn't show up. Um, so I mainly got more experienced in facilitating, which is a good thing because I only did it once before and uh, okay, it was great. So if you're facilitating, you're not really paying attention to the content, you're more paying attention to the room and the reactions of the people. So, um, But I learned a good deal uh, doing that, so I'm glad. So what I've learned today is that I don't know my facilitation schedule and thank you Ziga for mopping up after me. So one thing I learned today, I was at Griffin Jones' talk about evidence and he's working in regulation, uh, regulated medical industries. Um, and so evidence for him is something that has to be durable and available long after the fact. Um, one of the interesting things I learned was one of the ways that he does exploratory testing in that environment is actually filming the tester as, as they do their testing. And the tester has to say everything out loud as, as they're walking through, starting from the start of, you know, my name is Michael Hunter, I'm testing build 1234 of this application and actually opening the about app the about box and showing all those details. Um, just like you know, on all the medical shows, the guy doing the autopsy has to show all these details. And then all the way through the entire session, saying out loud everything that, that they're thinking, everything that they're doing. Um, and I thought, oh my gosh, I'm glad I don't have to do that. <laughs> cool. So, you want to know what I learned today? First thing I learned is that people are, uh, well, really into the future. In my session I did this morning, we had good discussions. People are thinking and wondering, pondering, so what do I need to learn for my future? So that's one. It's, that was great. And the second thing is, have you seen my hat? <laughs> I've learned a lot about state transition testing. James made me do state-based testing and, well, he said, good job, hype. So <laughs> I learned I'm a pretty good tester, but there's still a lot I can learn. So that's, that was awesome. So what I learned today is that 
the message that I have for the closing keynote tomorrow is really gathering steam. It's something that I started talking about about four years ago. And honestly, six months ago, I was ready to give up on this message because I thought, I really thought I was either on about the wrong thing or that it just wasn't going to catch on. Uh, today confirmed for me that there's a whole bunch of folks who are going down this same path, and I'm really hoping uh, that I'm going to tie it all together tomorrow at the closing. So you're going to have to come to find out what it is because I'm not going to give it away. But what I learned is that uh, it really is a, a common uh, thread among a whole bunch of things we've been talking about. So come tomorrow and find out what I'm uh, what I'm going to tell you is a trend in software testing.